Hi, welcome to MC University On Demand. My name is Eric, I'm one of the design engineers here at Matthews, and today we're talking about how to install and set up your new MC Tracks kit. We'll go over what parts come with the kit, how to install it into your remote cabinet, and how to log on from a computer or smart device. Let's get started. Let's take a minute to discuss what MC Tracks is. MC Tracks is our remote monitoring service that allows you to see your dryer from anywhere in the world on any computer or smart device. It also serves as a very good troubleshooting tool for you and dealers alike. All that the kit requires you to provide is an internet connection. And once it's set up, you'll be able to monitor active alarms, see your dryer set points, and see current running data in real time. Now that we understand how MC Tracks works, let's take a look at a kit and what comes with. Your kit will be in a box like this one, and we want to look inside and make sure that all the appropriate parts have come with. We're going to be looking for instructions, two blue Ethernet cables, a power supply, and lastly, the router. Now let's take a little bit closer look at each of these components. First we have the router. This is a modified router. It's been pre-installed with software specific to your machine. It's important not to hit the reset button on the back. Doing so will wipe that custom software off and you'll have to send it back to us so we can reprogram it. Next we have a power supply. This is a 120 volt outlet on one end and on the other end it'll plug into the back of the router. We have two Ethernet cables. The first one will connect your machine to the router and the second one will connect the router to your local internet. That'll have to be provided. And lastly we have the instructions. This is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of what we're talking about here today. I want you to note that your username and password are listed on this document. You'll need that later. Now that we've defined each of these components, let's start putting things together. The first thing we're going to want to do is locate the remote cabinet. It'll look similar to the one next to me. We've removed the front of this cabinet for this presentation, but you'll have to open the cabinet door, open up the swing door that has the HMI and the fan and ignition switches on it, and try to locate your Ethernet switch on the sub-panel mounted in this cabinet. Depending on what model year dryer you have, you'll either have a 5-port or an 8-port Ethernet switch installed. They'll look similar in either case. You'll want to take the first end of your Ethernet cable and plug it into your Ethernet port in any available port. Once that's in, take the other end of your Ethernet cable and plug it into the back of your router in any of the numbered ports, 1 through 4. You'll now take your second Ethernet cable and plug one end into the back of the router in the internet port. The other end of this cable will have to go to your internet that's been provided by a local internet provider. If you want to test the components here and you don't have an internet connection, you can use a hotspot on your phone to temporarily make sure everything's working. You'll now want to take your power supply, the smaller end plugs into the 12 volt DC spot on the router, and the other end gets plugged into an outlet. With everything plugged in, we should see a solid green LED here that indicates the router has power. If you've gotten this far and you have power to your router, it's now time to close up the cabinet. You can put the router anywhere that's convenient for your setup and go ahead and power on your dryer. Now that we've hooked up all the hardware, let's take a look at how we log in. Open up the browser of your choice from any computer or smart device. In the address bar, type in www.mctracks.net. This will bring up the home page for MC Tracks. There are two lines here, one for username and one for password. Your username is the serial number for your dryer, 
and the password is your model number of your dryer. If you're unsure what either of these values should be, check your instructions, it's listed on the bottom. Click the arrow to log in. Now you'll have a list of all the dryers that you own. Look for the dryer that we're setting up right now and make sure that your information and your dealer's information is correct. Also check that it says online under the status column. If all of this checks out, go ahead and click on that dryer. This will pull up the main MC track screen. From here, you can see active alarms, set points, and current running data. If you've made it this far, you successfully installed MC tracks. That's it for this video. Today we've talked about MC tracks, what parts come with, how do you install it, and how do you log in through mctracks.net. If you were unable to get all the way to the last step and see your dryer online, contact your local dealer. If you're unsure who that is, you can go to matthewscompany.com and use our dealer locator to find a dealer near you. If you have any questions or comments, or you have an idea for a future video, you can email us at media at matthewscompany.com. As always, thanks for watching.